hello everybody welcome back to my channel on this video i will show you guys what are the question about the merit department procedure that your amco evaluator will ask you during the evaluation uh, it is important to you guys to read the offshore operation manual during onboard firmware session uh, especially procedure related to your official uh, specific job in offshore uh, for marine department procedures, there are six topics which usually asked by the evaluator. The first is officer operation manual. They, they may ask you uh, how many elements are on this manual, what are they. And then number two is speed limit at UKC. Um, they will ask you the maximum speed on the channel, in the harbor, in oil fleet, inside the 500 meter safety zone. And you can see in open sea, you can see when a crossing pipeline, you see a jet and uh, etc. Number two part and officer operation. Uh, commonly, they will ask you regarding the procedure uh, what you have to do before leaving or entering oil field or harbor. What is the general VSF generally used in Aramco and something like that. And then ship stability and cargo um, they may ask you regarding this definition definition on the ship uh, stability terminology and also uh, they often asking about the free surface effect and about this uh, deck load capacity toolbox meeting and job safety analysis or risk assessment and they will ask what is toolbox top meeting and what is the job safety analysis something like that and then the weather limit um, they may ask you what is maximum of wind speed uh, when we are entering the harbor or uh, maximum wind speed for operation at sea something like that For example a uh, question how many elements in the Aramco offshore operation manual it has six elements. The first is health, safety, and environment. Number two, management of emergencies. Number three, contractor facial operation. Number four, port operation. Number five, crew manning, documents, competency, and fitness. Number six, marine contract administration. Another question Do you know the location of the safety flyer file? Uh, so please identify the file in the breeze and review this. Uh, flyer content okay uh, what to do before leaving or entering the harbor of course we have to obtain permission from the port control other question what is the working visit channel in Aramco fields and real harbor so the working visit channel in Aramco oil field and the harbor is on VHF channel 11. Okay, do you need inward clearance to tonnage port for fuel and water loading if coming from Aramco field and then proceed back to Aramco field? The answer is no, we don't need inward clearance. Uh, do you need invert clearance to West Pier for fuel and water loading if coming from Aramco field then you proceed back to Aramco field yes for West Pier we need invert clearance uh, do you need to report Rustan Rapport Control Center when entering or leaving West Pier yes we need to report to Rustan Rapport Control at speed boy What is the speed limit for Tanajip and West Pier? For Tanajip port, the maximum speed inside the channel is 10 knots, maximum speed inside the harbor is 7 knots, and then maximum speed when crossing the 5 trans pipeline, where UKC is 1 until 2 meter, 5 knots, UKC 2 until 3 meter is 8 knots, and if your facial UKC is 3 meter or more, there is no speed restriction. Uh, the sea bus are permitted to increase to a maximum 20 knots in inner channel when it is operating in one-way mode. For West Pier, 
and the maximum speed limit in the approach and within the pier is 5 knots. Sample questions about UKC. What is UKC requirement? Minimum UKC cross over pipeline or subsea installation is to be 5 meter or more. Uh, minimum UKC at normal seabed is to be uh, 1.0 meter or more. And minimum UKC well alongside pier or jetty facility is permitted uh, to decrease up to 0. 3 meter or more. Okay, what do you understand about the squat? How to calculate and reduce it? In simple word, squat, uh, we can say squat is the increase of draft due to high speed in still water. Um, squat also occur when vessel not making way but laying on flowing water. So, how to calculate the squat? In open water, uh, squat formula is um, coefficient block times by the vessel speed square divided by uh, 100 meter. In confined water, the squat formula is coefficient block times by the uh, sip speed square divided by 50 meter. Reduce the squat by reducing the vessel speed. Okay, the next question is about the international border. What do you do if your facial operation is close to the international border? Facial should not approach within 500 meters of the international border of another state. So, what situation you can cross the international border? We can cross the international border uh, when we have breakdown or engine failure or any other reason that vessel become not under command and because of uh, collision regulation, because of action to avoid collision, uh, because we require to give assistance with an international search and rescue and when we do the international voyage. How frequently need to define position of the facial? Uh, within the boundaries of any offshore oil field, the safe interval for position fixing and recording should never exceed than 15 minutes. For the clear water outside the oil field boundaries, uh, should never exceed than 30 minutes. Well, we go to question about the stability. What is the free surface effect and how does it affect the stability of facial? Uh, the free surface effect occurs when the tanks are partially filled with liquid uh, during the moving hill. The liquid starts moving from one side to another side. Um, the movement of the liquid surface inside the tank will cause the VCG of the liquid to move up or increase and those will reduce in the GM value. The maximum effect of free surface occur when the tank are 50% load. Um, to minimize this effect, keep the tank either full or completely empty. A box of weight 8 ton has a loading area of 16 square meter. Your vessel check have permissible load of 4.8 ton per square meter. Can you load it? We do the calculation. 80 ton divided by 60 meter square, we got 5 ton. This 5 ton more than permissible uh, load of our vessel, which is 4.8 ton per square meter. So, no, I cannot load it. Well, we have here the sample equation regarding the stability calculation. 
uh, a facial having a fresh water alone 20 cm and a low draft 3.2 meter to what draft uh, can this vessel load in fresh water well the first need to remember that this density of fresh water is uh, 1000 and seawater density is uh, 1025 then the formula for change in travis the fresh water allowance time by seawater density subtract by the density of uh, fresh water and divide by 25 and then input the value of fresh water allowance it is a 20 centimeter and do the calculation and here we got number uh, 20 centimeter or 0 0.2 uh, meter because it's from sea to fresh water it's I mean an increase in draft so uh, our load draft is a 3.2 meter plus uh, 0 0.2 meter and then we got a uh, new draft a uh, 3.40 meter okay please tell me about toolbox meeting and risk assessment so the toolbox meeting is short duration meeting prior commencement of job or work shift that focuses on the safety topic related to the specific job such hazard safe working practice and procedures and then a risk assessment is process or method to identify and analyze the hazard and the risk factor that have potential to cause harm to people environment and the asset Okay, weather limit. Uh, West Pier closer due to weather and Tenaji facility close due to weather. For West Pier, the West Pier and the inner channel are to be close to traffic when wind speed uh, exit uh, 35 knots or visibility is less than half nautical mile. Uh, West Pier channel is restricted to one with traffic for all vessel in wind speed exceeding 20 knots. Tanajib, the Tanajib Pier and the inner channel are to be closed traffic uh, when wind speed exceeds 35 knots or visibility is uh, less than half, na half nautical mile. Um, the inner channel is restricted to one way traffic for all vessel in wind speed uh, exceeding 20 knots during night time and 30 knots during day time. Uh, double berthing is not allowed without any activity in and if the wind speed reach or exit uh, 30 knots and snatching of material is not permitted when significant wave head uh, exit 1.5 meters well that's all about the sample question type and the answer related to the merit department procedure. Thank you for watching. See you on next video.